Hello, I'm Steve Dunn, Director of First Trace Heating, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to do a heat shrink termination on a self-regulating cable. Firstly, we'll go through the tools. You need a terminal driver, set aside cutters, Stanley, long nose pliers, and a hot air gun. You can also use a gas torch if you want to, um, if you've gone site and there's no, no electricity. Okay, now in the termination uh, kit, you get a set of instructions, a warning label, a compression gland, an olive for the compression gland, a 12 mil heat shrink, two 9 mil heat shrinks, two 3 mil heat shrinks, and an earth heat shrink. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, put on the compression gland. So we unscrew the top and we take out the round olive that's in, and we insert the oval olive. So we just insert that, put that over the end, and then we slide this on the cable first. We put the, the gland on first because it's easier to do it before you do the termination than after. Okay, next step is that we want to take about 100 mil of our outer insulation off. So with our Stanley, we're going to cut cut around the base and then slice down the middle. You don't want to press on too hard on this otherwise you'll cut into the braid. We want the, all the braid to stay intact. So we remove that. Now we then push the braid black back to flare it and with our terminal screwdriver we're going to make a little hole in, in the base of the cable. And then we're going to bend the cable over. And the idea of this is we're going to push the core of the cable through this hole. So with your thumb, you're going to push down, and the other hand, you're pushing up. And then you're just going to pull that out. And then we're going to make this look nice and neat. So we just twist that around. Okay, next step, with our Stanley, we're gonna remove uh, about 90 mil of the inner sheath. So we're gonna leave about 10 mil on because underneath this core, there is live conductors. So we want to keep the braid away from these live conductors. So we leave 10 mil, 10 mil on so that there's plenty of uh, Plenty of insulation to stop the braid touching it. Okay, now we're down to our, our live center conductor. So inside here we have our live in neutral. And so we want to, to expose these now. Now there's two ways of doing this. First reason, uh, first way is to, to get our Stanley knife, put it at a 90 degree angle, and then we're just going to run the Stanley knife down the cable and then that will expose the wire. And then with the Stanley then you just pull the pull the wire away and you expose your wire. The other way to do it is down the cable there's a set of tram lines. So you can gently, with your Stanley blade, just put the blade down the tram line. Do that on both sides. And then simply pull it away 
and that will reveal your wire. Now with your Stanley, you just want to create a little V in your center core, so that then that stops your live and neutral touching. And then on this side, we're just going to remove any excess core. Okay, so now we've stripped the cable back. We want to start putting some heat shrink on. So first of all, we're gonna get our three mil heat shrink. Um, we want to just trim this back so there's about 10 mil of wire exposing over the end. So we get our, our side cutters. And make them level. Slide that over. And at this point, you can slide your earth sleeve in over your braid. Now we get our hot air gun and we're going to heat shrink down these cores now. Okay, now we've done that, we just want to, to push the heat shrink down so that then we can't see any of the wire poking through the bottom. Okay, now the next step is we get our 9mm heat shrink and we're going to slide this over the top of our live and neutral and so that then we can then just see the, the braid over the bottom. So then we're going to get our heat gun again and we're going to heat that up. Now that's shrunk down, we're going to get our long nose pliers and we're going to crimp in the middle and then with our thumb and forefinger, we're going to push the wires together. So we should be able to look down the cable and then see no gaps. The reason for this is we want to stop moisture getting down to that center core. And now that you've done that, you've done your front end termination. So that is now ready to connect into a thermostat or junction box. Okay, now we're going to be doing our back end termination. So for our back end termination, we have a 9mm shrink left and we have a 12mm shrink left. So with our Stanley knife we're going to remove about 20mm to an inch of the outer insulation so just score around and score down the cable. Once again don't press on too heavy on this because we don't want to take off the braid. Now we're at the braid level. We're going to push this braid all the way back over the cable. And we're gonna cut the inner core down to about 10 mil. Then we're gonna get our nine mil shrink, place our nine mil shrink over the end. And then with our hot air gum, We're going to shrink that down and then just with our pliers we're just going to seal that end. Okay now that's sealed we're going to then go with our braid and we're going to pull our braid back over the cable. Okay and then we've got our 12 mil left and that 12 mil then is going to then slide over the top and you want to just make it so there's five or six mil 
of the shrink over the top of the end of the cable and we're going to heat shrink that down again With our pliers, we're then going to just seal the end. And that is a front and back end termination. If you require any further information or uh, instructions, then please visit our website.